All right, so this is video number one, where I am literally just going to go over the homework from yesterday, um, really just giving you the answers to this so that um, at least you have the stuff that we did in class yesterday and kind of see what we did and as a tie-in to what we're about to do. Okay, so on this first problem, again, we got to get rid of what's being added or subtracted first. So I got a plus 12 to both sides. Those will cancel. Square root of x equals negative 12 plus, or excuse me, negative 2 plus 12 is 10. And then the opposite of the square root is to square it. And those will cancel. You get x equals, well, 10 squared, which is 100. Then it wants you to check. Okay, so I go through and I square root of 100 minus 12 equals negative 2. 10 minus 12 equals negative 2. It sure does, so it works, so I can keep it. Right here, again, minus 5 to both sides, because i got to get rid of what's being added or subtracted first. Um, this becomes square root of 2x equals negative 4. I square both sides. Those will cancel to get 2x. Negative 4 squared is negative 4 times negative 4, which is 16. And divide by 2 to get x equals 8. I'm going to go back to check that. 2 times 8 plus 5 equals 1. This is 16, and the square root of 16 is 4 plus 5 equals 1. That does not check. There is no solution here. <clears throat> There's nothing to add or subtract that's not inside the square root sign. So I go right to multiply or divide, and the opposite of multiplying by 2 here is to divide both sides by 2. We always got to get rid of that stuff that's outside of the square root first. So I get square root of x minus 4 equals 5. And now I have the square root by itself, so I square both sides to get those to cancel and get 25. And then I just add 4, of course, to both sides to get x equals 29. Go back and plug it in. 2 times the square root. I'm going to 29 minus 4 is 25 equals 10. And sure enough, 2 times 5 equals 10. It checks. The next problem, again, add or subtract first, so I get rid of that. And then I can square both sides to get those to cancel. And then minus 6, of course, and divide by 2 to get x equals 15. Let's go check it a minute here. 2 times 15 plus 6 minus 2, does that equal 4? 2 times 15 is 30, plus 6 is 36, and the square root of that is 6 minus 2 is 4. It checks. There's my answer there. Okay. Um, the last two problems on this page that I want to go over, um, on this one, again, there's nothing to add or subtract, so I'm going to divide by 2 first. And then I'm going to square both sides. And again, that gives me 16. And those will cancel to give me 3x plus 1. And then it's just, again, the steps from there. x equals 5. Go back and plug it in. 2 times 3 times 5 is 15 plus 1 is 16. And 2 times 4 is 8, not negative 8. So that doesn't work. And again, this one is another no solution. Okay. Plus 3 here. Those cancel. Again, square both sides. x minus 2 equals 49. And I add 2 to both sides to get 51. Again, I go to check it. 51 minus 2 is 49. And the square root of 49 is 7 minus 3. Yes, indeed, that equals 4. So the reason we're doing this is to kind of get into what we are doing today, which I will give you on the other video. Um, if you don't have these copied in, make sure you copy it in with the work. You should also have done uh, number two, um, number three, and number four as well. Um, just as maybe a refresher on this, this is where you square root seven, square root seven like that, get seven square root of seven over seven. Those are reduced, and you would just have that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> these are like terms. Maybe putting a one there will help you with a. Okay. Like terms. These are not, but you can break that into four and six and then keep going from there, okay? Um, and that's all we did for that. Back here, these are again ones that you have to break up. This one at the bottom here that you have to break up is four, two, x2, and x. You can do those, and the ones that you can't are gonna go back under the sign. So, uh, copy these in, finish this assignment, turn this into the box, and then get to the next video.